Hi, I'm Dr. Leonie. Uh, today we're going to uh, go through another two application questions under the tutorial session. We're still doing the question related to chapter 5, differentiation. We're going to prepare two pieces of A4 paper and then you're going to answer a total of four questions. Means that one paper two questions. In other paper, two questions. At the first piece of paper, write your name and also your student ID and your program. And then write down the question W11F. Uh, for the first half of the paper, you're going to uh, have a box uh, written box F1 and then copy the questions. The question sounds like this Oil pollution is spreading equally at rate of 2 meter a second. Determine the rate of increment in area, then determine the polluted area when the radius is 40 meter. This is the ocean and then we have a uh, oil pollution the rate is expansion 2 meter a second uh, we want to determine what is the increment in area means that we want to find what is the rate of area over time and then we want to find what is the size of the, the uh, polluted oil area when the R equals to 40 meter. Now we're going to solve the questions. We are given the information. The rate is 2 meter a second. And then, based on the general formula between the area and the radius, it is defined as A equals to pi r square. We don't have any much clue yet, but why don't we do the uh, differentiation, differentiation between the area and the radius? dA over dr equals to d pi r square over dr. So we have the 2 pi r. The question wants us to get the rate between the area and the time. dA per dt. We don't know. But what happened when we combine these two rates together? We found that dA per dt, actually it is the combination between dr per dt times dA per dr. Where can we find this formula from? It's somehow related to the chain rule here. Means that if we have the rate, we have the uh, derivative for certain function, and then we have another derivative for another function, when uh, they can cancel out each other for one of the uh, derivative part there, then it is acceptable. So let, let us check at dr over dt here dr over dt is 2 meter square minus 1 from here. dA over dr is from here. 2 pi r. So at the end, 
we will get the area over the time equals to 2 times 2 pi r equals to 4 pi r. So we have solved for the first part. We had determined the rate of increment in area. The next question is you want to find the polluted area when radius increase from 0 meter until 40 meter. We replace the 40 meter into the derivative here. So dA over dt equals to 4 times pi times r now is 40 meter. So we'll get 160 pi. So the polluted area when the radius is 40 meter equals to 160 pi. Okay, done. Next, uh, box F2, one of you. So you have uh, two people in one group. Later on, you discuss with your group member. One of you going to create similar to F1 question. So later on, you're going to write the question here. And then give it to your friend. Your friend going to stop it. You also going to stop it. Let's go to the last question for the tutorial session. This is question W11G. The question sounds like this. Box G1, a manufacturer, a factory, is making a plastic container. It's a cylinder plastic container to hold 1000 ml of water. Because if we can design a container with the smallest uh, size possible, but it, going, uh, it, can, it can fill up 100, uh, 1000 ml water, that will be the best because we're going to lower down our cost at the same time we're going to achieve the requirement of 1000 ml so your task is to find the minimum radius of this plastic container you want to design a plastic container a bottle that can keep 1000 ml water but with uh, the lower amount of your material plastic plastic material so you can increase your profit there so how to solve this question for this, for this question there's only one information available to us 1000 ml but luckily uh, we are told that the container is in cylinder uh, shape means that the volume of the bottle will equal to pi r square times the h. h is the height of the bottle here. It's also equal to 1000 ml. Before we proceed further, we just make H as the uh, the title for the equation there. H equals to 1000 divided by pi r square. R is the radius. Here is the radius. So now we want to design a new bottle that made up of the total area. The area of the bottle will equal to the upper part plus the lower part of the uh, cylinder 
and plus the cylinder surface here equals to the area of the upper part of this bottle is pi r square plus pi r square plus this is the surface of the cylinder 2 times pi r times the h there now we have pi but no worry because pi is a value 3.142 and we have the r is the radius this is an unknown a variable but we have another variable that is the h the height luckily from the volume equation there we already define what is the h so we're going to replace the h into the equation so now we're going to have 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times the h <clears throat> so after the expansion we're going to get 2 pi r square plus 2000 divided by r because we want to find what is the minimum or the maximum value uh, to design this bottle, we're going to differentiate it. dA, the area, over dR equals to 4 pi r minus 2000 divided by r square. Minimum maximum happens when the gradient equals to zero. It happens when the gradient equals to zero. So 4 pi r minus 2000 divided by r squared equals zero. After doing the algebraic calculation, we're going to get r close to 5.4 cm. Means that the manufacturer will ask the designer to design the bottle with the R equals to 5.4 cm. Then you ask another question. How about the H? What is the value of the H? No worry, because H we can find it when we replace R equals 5.4 into the relationship equation here. So 1000 divided by pi times 5.4 power of 2. Then we're going to get what is the value of the H. Means that the manufacturer will ask the designer to draw out the bottle with R equals to 5.4 and also equals to certain H here. Now is your turn to create similar to G1 question. Who will create this question? It depends on the discussion between you and your group member. Let's say you, you agreed to design the question G1, this one. You to design question, similar question. So later on, you're going to send this question to your friend. At the same time, your friend going to send you the F1 question. Two of you going to solve the question means that at the end, all of you going to solve two pieces of paper contains how many questions? Four questions. After you solve all those four questions, do WhatsApp video or Google Meet with your friend and then Screenshot, snap photo, upload it to the Google form. Okay, thank you.